Okay, so we're going to work on dilations to keep ourselves ahead of the game and not fall behind of our schedule. I just need to make sure that we have enough time to work through unit three. So I'm gonna post this video in, in hopes that you guys will try your dilations homework um, before it's actually due in a week. So a dilation is a scaled image. So we either take a pre-image and we make it larger or we make it smaller based on the scale factor that we're provided. In this example, we've been provided with a scale factor of four, which I've boxed in red at the top of the page. This means that our final figure will be four times as large once we get to the final image. I also want to alert you to several typos, which are killing me in my packet here. So I've adjusted the points A through G in the table below. So at this point, you may want to pause the video and make sure that your table has the same points that my table does. And I've added letters to make it a little clearer what we're looking at here. Okay, if your table now matches mine, then what we want to do is look at our point of dilation and figure out how far away each point in our pre-image is from the point of dilation. So we'd start, for example, by going from point H to point A, which means we would walk to the right three units and then up two units. So that's right three, up two. So let's try that again for B. That would be right three, but up five. So right three, up five. Then we would go to point C, which means we would go right nine units, three, yep, right nine and up five. And then we go to point D, which means we would move right nine units. Remember, I'm, I'm not starting at the origin, I'm starting at point H. Right nine units up two to point D. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna erase my blue lines. For point E, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, up two. So right seven, up two. And then we're gonna keep going to point F, which would be right six, and then up one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to point G, which means we would go to the right five units and then up two. And finally, we're back at point A, which was right three units up two units. So the way that we wanna think about a dilation of a scale factor of four is that when we go to make our final image, our distance away from the point of dilation will be four times as large because our scale factor is four. So what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply by four each of our movements to the right and up, okay? So what we're going to do is take each movement and multiply by four, which means we used to go right three, now we're gonna go right 12. We used to go up two, now we're gonna go up eight. So we're gonna repeat the process. Right 12, and then this is five times four, so up 20. And again, times four, so right 36, and then up, by 20 again, right 36, up by eight. Okay, I'm, I'm multiplying everything by four. So that'd be right 28, up eight. Six times four is 24, so I go right 24 units. Four times four is 16, so up 16 then write 20, up eight, and finally back to point A, which was write 12, up eight. So what we want to do is now find the new ordered pairs, which I think is a little bit easier than going to the picture and counting. So remember to find the new ordered pairs, this would be the X value would be 
me going right or left. So this would be X plus whatever I move to the right. And then my Y value will be Y plus whatever I went up. So let's look at the first example here. We're gonna put our new ordered pairs in black in the final column. That means A prime. Remember we started at 0.3 comma two. So if I'm at the number three and I add 12, I get 15. And if I'm at the number two and I add, remember at first I'm adding right, now I'm adding the up to the Y value. So that would be two plus eight, which gives me 10. And so I'm gonna move down the line and go ahead and get myself ready because I know that A prime is at 15 comma 10 and that's where we're gonna bring ourselves back. So let's try that again. I start at 0 0.3 comma two and I move right 12 units. So that's three plus 12 or 15 and then up 20 units. So that's two plus 20 or 22. So we're gonna do it again. I started at three comma two and I move right 36. So three plus 36 is 39. And then I go two plus 20 and that's 22. I'm gonna keep doing that, okay? I'm still at 39 because I'm doing three plus 36, but this time it's two plus eight. So I'm at 39 comma 10. So remember, I'm taking the point of dilation and I'm adding however far I move to the right and then adding how I moved up to the Y value. So the right part goes to the X and the up part goes to the Y value. So one more, we're at three, two, three plus 28 is 31 comma 10, three, two and three plus 24 is 27 and two plus 16 is 18. And now we're back up, down at point G and we want to go three plus 20, which is 23. And then we wanna do two plus eight, which gives us 10. So now what I wanna do is graph those black points into my image. So I'm gonna go up to my graph and I'm gonna graph the scaled image that is four times as large. So point A is at 15 comma 10. Oops, so that's right there, A prime. And now I'm gonna move 15 and 22, B prime. And now I wanna go to 39 comma 22. C prime, then 39 comma 10. D prime, and then 31 comma 10. E prime, 27 comma 18. F prime, and finally, G prime at 23 comma 10. So what we wanna do is connect the points in our image to make sure that we can see this is a dilated image of the original figure. So I'm gonna go around and connect my points. Oopsie, I lost my pen. I want to connect these two and we're going to connect these two. And what I want everybody to see is that this image has a scale factor of four, which means not only are the points four units away, excuse me, four times as far away, but the distances um, for each side are four times as long. So for example, this used to be three on either side and these were two and the top of the figure was six units long. So now these sides are 12 units long. These sides are eight units long. And the top of this figure is 24 units long. It's four times as large as the original image. 
The other cool thing about a dilation that I want to show you, and I'll use something, some crazy color, is that I want everybody to see um, what it, I mean by like a projected image. So a dilation is truly an image like you would see on a projector. So if I draw dotted lines, or I guess they have to be whole lines, straight lines that go through the points, you can see that these are straight lines extending out through each of the points almost oops i messed that one up almost as it i keep messing this last line up that i wanted to do from d to d almost as if i were projecting light through this image and creating that dilated figure so hopefully you could follow along with this video and feel good about working on this later with me in class and on your homework. Good luck.